Good day and welcome back to another DPZ Doka Metal video. So I thought in this video we could take a look at what we can expect to come during the remainder of the year up till the 7th anniversary. So essentially, uh, without spoilers, because I personally don't enjoy spoilers and I know a lot of people don't enjoy spoilers as well, I thought the easiest way would be to just take a look at the previous year without giving too much away and then we can kind of see where we fall from there. So obviously uh, we are currently sitting at this point here. So you can see here the To The Galaxy campaign uh, part two is actually where we're currently lying. Uh, and that'll be finished roughly on the 28th of Feb, which is roughly when our current campaign is scheduled to end. Uh, roughly around here, obviously it's different depending on the unit, but generally speaking, we're finishing pretty soon. Uh, we should then have another DFE campaign. Uh, if you take a look at uh, this campaign, for example, this campaign was the Galactic, Galactic Crisis uh, event, which brought you know, DFE Bojack and also brought with it the LR uh, Gohan. So the first thing we need to determine, obviously, is how long do we have until the anniversary? So if we take a look here, we should have one more campaign. Then we'll have Saiyan Day, which will be a two-week joint event with Japan, which is usually only two weeks, but it might be extended. We will then have um, the other world or will the thank you campaign. Uh, so the thank you campaign is a pretty big one. Uh, usually comes in around April. Legendary campaign we'll talk about now, but it obviously has a part one and a part two. It generally finishes up at the end of April. You then end up with a very brief campaign uh, that's usually slightly extended into the Goku and Gohan day. Uh, these two kind of mesh together, generally speaking. An extreme challenge campaign we will also talk about just now. Uh, and then we'll have two greater heights, the super growth campaign. Uh, and we'll also have the guidance. Well, not exactly these campaigns, but we will probably have two more very brief campaigns. And then we will have the anniversary roughly around July. The first week of July is when the pre-events and everything will start. So that gives us roughly... Um, March, April, May, June. Uh, so that gives us four months. So let's talk stones. So to cut a long story short, what everyone wants to know is how many stones am I going to get? So it is a little bit difficult to measure, uh, but you should get one login stone per day and you should get one daily mission reward stone. This will remain constant pretty much up until the pre-events. Sometimes it will increase, sometimes it won't. You might get more for, for example, go on Goku and Goten Day, you usually get extra stones upon login. But if we just assume one stone per day and one daily mission stone per day, over those four months, which is around about 120 days, you're looking at 240 stones. And we will be adding this up, uh, just whipping out the notepad quickly uh, so that we can get a good idea of what we uh, require. So yes, uh, we should be getting 240 stones. Okay, that will be for your daily login. Okay, and your daily mission. So let's talk campaigns. So we'll start with the first campaign. Generally all campaigns follow a similar trend. So for example, uh, the next event that we have will be a DFE. It's more than likely going to come out uh, as a DFE. You'll get your login stones, your login reward. You will get your missions, your mission stones. Generally speaking, we're looking at 12 stones per campaign. We'll add those up just now, but we're looking at 12 stones per cam campaign. You get around seven for part one and you usually get around five for part two. It will be higher for Saiyan Day but we're going to just ignore that for now. So if we look here and count the amount of campaigns we have left, we have one, we're gonna exclude Saiyan Day and the Goku and Gohan Day. We've got one, okay. The part twos count obviously for one, two, 
three, four. So we've got four campaigns left, we've got four months left, it makes sense. So you're looking at about 48 stones for that. So we'll add that onto the side here. Don't worry about it. And that's for your campaign missions. That's not including new content or anything like that. Generally speaking, you're looking at about 12 stones for the campaign missions. Saiyan Day and the Goku Gohan Day are usually added bonuses. Each event is usually a similar kind of content. So usually you get, especially with a new DFE, you'll get one new Doken event. It's generally quite standard. Uh, you will usually get a Ultimate Clash, which we'll talk about now. Uh, and then you will usually get some kind of easy aim. Uh, that's usually your main stone areas. Some story events, etc., will be revamped. Over time, we will talk about the possibility of those at some new point. And obviously, there is a chance for more. There's a chance for extreme Z areas. But let's just talk about what we can roughly expect every single month until the end. So. A new Dokkan event is two stones every single month. Four new campaigns means eight new Dokkan events. We're not going to count Saiyan Day and the Goku Gohan Day. We're just going to keep that separate for now. Then if we take a look, for example, at Ultimate Clash. So Ultimate Clash is the same amount of stones every single time. Your Ultimate Clashes don't change. So if you look at your Ultimate Clash, it's pretty much stock standard. Uh, and you get the same amount of stones. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you get your mission stones, which is 11, 16, and 28. So you get 28 stones for finishing Ultimate Clash. You will have four of these, roughly, minimum. So you are looking at close to, that's 36 by 80, so you get 116 stones for Ultimate Clash which is pretty good, okay? So that's Doken events, that's Ultimate Clash. Let's factor in easy A's, and barring Sand Day and all those sort of things, we can factor in probably three or four more easy A's. Um, we'll go on the safe side and say three more, uh, and that is a total of 90 stones. Okay, so looking pretty good so far. Uh, that's the majority of the content that can be expected. And we'll look at another uh, campaign just so you can see the comparison. But um, if we take a look back at the Galactic Guy Crisis event, you can see here, this is obviously part one. Uh, for the part two, usually a, uh, you know, a unit comes out. For the immediate DFE that's gonna come next, we're not gonna get a part two because we're gonna get Sand Day. Sand Day is going to be a completely separate event. So Sand Day is its own thing. Um, yeah, it's like its own entity almost, and it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. So you can see here there was quite a lot of rewards for Sand Day, uh, like 48 stones for last year's Sand Day. And if we bank on something similar, uh, we can look at 50 stones. So this is for the Sand Day missions. Um, pretty nice. Obviously, there's special discounts in that for people who do want to invest in, uh, you know, having, like, spending stones, but it's not necessarily that required. Uh, so, yeah, we've got 50 for the Sand Day missions. Then we have a new Doken event for that. And then we usually get some kind of new Infinite Dragon Ball history, some kind of new EZA area or EZA. And uh, you can see there, we got here an easy A. We're expecting some kind of LRZA as well, uh, which is also 30 stones. An explosive chain battle is possible, and we'll talk about that as well. So there's a couple of things that can come out. Okay. So if we just factor in for Sand Day, let's play it safe again, and factor in uh, you know, one Doken event, and we factor in one easy A and an easy A area. We're looking at 38 stones for that content. And that's for the Sand Day content. So that's pretty good as well. Then if we take a look at Explosive Chain Battles, Explosive Chain Battles always give the same amount of rewards. Uh, if you see here, you get one, three, six, eight, 11, 15, and 20 stones for finishing all the missions for a uh, ultimate chain battle. Again, I'm going to safely estimate that we're going to get another four of these. Uh, so we're looking at <coughs> 80 stones for ultimate chain battle. 
Okay, so that's pretty good as well, uh, and it's a pretty nice pickup there. If we go back uh, to the sander, as you can see, there will be story revamps and things like that, which is always possible. There's co-op campaigns, um, which you know give rewards as well. You can see here, there's a whole bunch of stone rewards. It's difficult to measure these because, especially with this being a joint event, it's not something that we can easily um, factor in. It's not something you can easily like just say this is going to happen. If we just take the same campaign, so we take the same one, we're looking at five, seven, ten stones for the social media campaign. So you're looking at ten stones. Social media campaign for sand day. Okay. Now if we go back to our events, first thing we just want to check is that if we take a look at the part one of another campaign, we are expecting very similar content. As you can see, uh, generally speaking, it's the same kind of thing. You can see here we got new stages, two new stages for a dual Dokkan Fest. I didn't factor that in, uh, so we can change our Dokkan Event Stones to 10 uh, to factor that in. Then uh, we will get another Ultimate Clash. We might get new Super Battle Road stages. Those are kind of coming out every three weeks or so. So it's very possible we could get a couple more of those. And we'll talk about that at the end. An Extreme Z Battle, Extreme Z Areas, the usual story. So if we go back to our campaigns, the only thing we haven't really factored in are Extreme Z Challenge campaigns, the lead up stones to the anniversary, and obviously uh, factoring in you know, any other kind of smaller excess stones. So if we take a look at legendary campaigns, it's very difficult to say whether we're guaranteed to get one. I have a feeling we will get one for the Int Vegeta. Um, I have a feeling we're going to get well, an, an Extreme Z campaign for him. And we might get a legendary campaign for the Strength Prime Battle Gohan. Um, it's very likely. It could definitely happen. Uh, and that means another 30 stones. So we'll put here 30 stones for the... Uh, legendary campaign and then i also think we will be getting a extreme legendary campaign uh, which will be similar to pans from last year but i think we'll be getting it during sand day at least i have a hunch and you can extreme the awaken pan there's really nothing too much more um here but there are some special missions uh, that were available although they're not showing up under here uh, but i believe you do get quite a few stones. Uh, so I believe you get about the same, 30 stones. So we'll put that down there for the extreme legendary campaign. Cool. So that's pretty much all the stones barring the Goku, Goten, and Gohan Day and the lead up stones. Um, so we're going to take a look at the Goku and Gohan Day. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's nothing too major usually, but there is a login bonus. Uh, it's usually quite big. Um, and then you also get some special bonuses as well. You get special tickets. Uh, there's some special events. They brought out the Fighting Legend GT Goku event. They might bring out more categories for this as well on, on this day. Uh, so there's quite a bit that usually comes out. Along with a the banner, there's also the chance of you know fully loaded super weekends and things like that. As you can see, an explosive chain battle, but we're not going to focus on those type of things because it's very difficult to estimate those without going into spoiler territory, which we're not going to go into. But for the Goku campaign, if I remember correctly, they give you quite a few stones. Uh, we'll just put it down as 20. It is probably more, but I like to save estimate uh, because that's me. I'm an accountant, so forgive me. It's usually how I am. Okay, then we can talk about lead up stones. So for year six, if we jump to year six, you can see obviously this is everything for year six. Uh, you get lead up stones, so the countdown missions. Um, so you get the sixth anniversary uh, where you can get your tickets and you can get your 10 dragon stones and you get login stones and all that. Uh, so we'll take a look at this event, uh, the countdown. There's social media campaigns, they give out stones. Um, you get 10 dragon stones for the countdown missions. Uh, you get a whole bunch of um, extra rewards 
for the missions, etc., uh, which is great. So that's this countdown. This is usually like uh, the final day or the final two days. Um, and you can see here, uh, so the returning, you get a returning, returning player bonus. You get the, you know, there's a world tournament, which we'll talk about as well. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff. And this obviously is talking about the anniversary itself. You can see anniversaries give a lot of stones. There was like a thousand stones given out for last year's anniversary, essentially. Um, but we're not going to talk about all those. We're just talking about all the stones up to the anniversary. Because I know a lot of people like to save up for them, even though they give out like a thousand stones. Um, and if we take a look at the sixth anniversary countdown here, uh, we can see... Yeah, same thing. So this is all the same event. So we're looking at 10 stones for the countdown, uh, which is pretty decent. And then I think before we should have two more world tournaments. I think. I think we're going to have two more world tournaments. Um, someone can correct me if I'm wrong. They are welcome to. Uh, but if you complete most of the world tournament up to 23 million, you get 50 stones. So. Now we can count up our stones. So I'm just going to place them up here so that you can all see. So there we go. We can now see. Very cool, very sophisticated technology. Uh, the 240 daily logins, the 48 stones for campaign missions or the various campaigns, 10 stones for Doken events, 116 stones for Ultimate Clash, 90 stones for EZAs, which is probably a very low estimate. 50 stones, considering how many easy A's they bring out, 50 stones for the same day missions, 38 stones for the same day content, 80 stones for Ultimate Clash, 10 stones for social media campaigns, 30 stones for the Legendary campaign, 30 for the Extreme Legendary, 20 for the Goku Gohan Go 10 day, 10 for the Countdown, and 100 World Tournament stones. So this brings us to the, I'm going to have to whip out the calculator here so that I don't take up too much of everybody's time. Uh, but this brings us to the grand total of 240 plus 10 plus 116 plus 90 plus 50 plus 38 plus 80 plus 10 plus 30 plus 30 plus 20 plus, plus 100. So you're looking at about softball estimate 872 stones. And this is a very safe estimate between now and the beginning of the anniversary. So 872 stones is a fair amount. And it's yeah, gonna be supplemented by roughly another thousand, probably close to a thousand during the event itself. So the real question is, should you save? Um, and it's completely up to you. Uh, so I don't do spoilers, it's just not my deal. Um, I don't like to do it because some people don't play JP, some people aren't interested in JP, but um, there are some, you know, there's always some cool units that are gonna come up Saying they will always drop some kind of crazy unit. I have no doubt they'll improve on last year's Saying they, uh, they will always do a trick banner before the anniversary, a really good one, just to throw you out. It's literally just to push you guys over the edge to try and get you to spend money on stones. So it's 872 stones. If you save right now, you will get close to this amount of stones if you were to start today. Not factoring in SBR stages, not factoring in a whole bunch of other content, you could easily have over 900 stones. So the real question is, is there a benefit to saving? Well, so it's RNG, so you might save, you might get nothing. But that being said, uh, I think overall, it's definitely something worth doing, uh, especially if you are someone who enjoys the next level of power. Usually anniversaries are an event whereby we see the scaling of Dokkan units go up, um, leader skills change, passive change, new techniques and abilities are brought into the game that create a new power creep. And so getting a lot of good summons on the anniversary banner usually indicates a chance of getting a good start into that power creep. And it's a great time for new players as well. So it's gonna be entirely up to you. I myself, uh, I don't always save. I generally just spend and I save about 400 for the anniversary because, yeah, I just bank on getting a lot of stones. I didn't even get last year's anniversary units and I've completed pretty much every event in the game. 
so you don't need them but they are a lot of fun to have uh, so yeah that's pretty much it so just thought I'd do this video I know a lot of people are interested in finding out how much they want to save and how much they want to utilize um, but yeah that's going to be it for me so thanks guys for watching and as always I will see you guys in the next video so until then take care stay safe and bye